You're now tuned into me 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 million dollars worth of game. Now I had to throw that on him. I just got something to say. I think I seen the fly. You didn't catch it. A little fruit. You're not a drag. You're not a drag. Uh got you bad. You you BMF. See, so you getting better. You getting better. Yeah. That's all that martial arts yeah. I taught you. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know something. You know something because Earl told me that back in the day. But that's yeah, that's another story. Really but used to pinch but you I, I, I got I got to say something. To y'all. Listen, a lot of y'all is petty. So you know, I had a little situation when I had a phone call last week. I think y'all was in my business, and I said something that I, that you fellas thought it was inappropriate. A lot of people thought I was out of pocket. Let me say something to you. Don't judge me. What you talking about? Pinky, me telling Pinky I love her. Oh yeah, you told Pinky you love her, man. Wasn't nothing wrong with that. Let me explain. Let me <laughs> no, explain. You said, let me explain. I love you. Let me explain. All right, all right, all right, all right. So let's mix it. Let, let, let's let, let's do this. You know how I many dudes look on Instagram every day and got girlfriends that they never met on Instagram? Right. You know what I mean? You might. You know I mean, people do that. They never met these chicks. Do you know what you're saying? What? You know what I mean? Losers is out there. No, but it's but, but what I'm you're saying. saying. There's a lot of losers. I'm out just there. saying. I'm just saying. It's listen. a lot of LL lonely losers. But, but, but ho ho. Oh, they never benefit off these women because they don't know them. I knew Pinky. I benefited off of Pinky. Pinky made my time softer. It wasn't just her. It was Cherokee, too. Mm. I had a couple, a couple, you know, that I was uh, mm-hmm. you know, doing my thing with. But it just came out of a place. I, I think I always wanted to say that, you know? And I said it, and I feel good about it. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to take it back, but I think you're trying to make, you try to make it like I did something you know wrong. The, you, know the porn, the, who, you know the porn star male niggas? No, I don't know none of them. Oh. Just checking. No, I'm just saying. Why you? Have to <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you might have been like, no, no, Mr. Mike, Mr. No, Mike, no. or some shit. Oh, like see, 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 you know what he name? You, I don't know. No, nigga no. named Mr. Mike. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying this. I'm saying like everybody out there judging me in front. Like you had dudes on the street that was in, that had that love Pinky. So I'm, I'm, you know, I get penalized for it because I said, I love you. You did. You said it deeply too. I love you. Yeah, because I love you. I ain't say it like that. Yes, you did. I said love you too. I said like yeah, I love you too. <laughs> but it came from a place of sincerity. Who else you fell in love with in the pen? Cherokee. It was unbelievable. Cherokee joint was just like phew. we used to get these magazines called Black Video Illustrated, right? Yeah. Black Black Video Illustrated is a magazine where it's though they have all the scenes in there from the smut movies. Oh, they go another one. Yeah. It, had, it, had, it had all the scenes in there, so it was like you watching the porno. So you got them joint. Them joints was was legendary. Mm-hmm. Uh, that that was like. They was all at Black Video. And, and every time they bring something out, anybody, the true collectors, they know about it. They bring a new magazine out. But you go back and true buy. True jerk off collectors. You go, buy, you go back and buy and buy an unbelievable collection. <laughs> any, any that was in jail that's a true jerk off collector, they know. Any in jail with a bunch of books with sticky pages, they'll tell you. No, but that's where the what's the name came from. Uh, later on, Straight Stunting and all them, all the magazines, they had a joint called Sticky Pages. That came from jail. <laughs> what? No, they had pages inside of the magazine where they had certain, like, rap. It, it'd be certain girls. So that means sticky pages. Sticky pages came from jail, whereas, though, you might let me see one of your books. Oh, man, I'm like, oh, I'm on a date. And one day I might just, ah! I spray all the page, and then now you're trying to wipe the joint down and it'd be sticky after that. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, nigga one. Then you gave it back to another nigga? Now you got to wipe it down. That's it's protocol. You got you to gotta break it down and pay for the book. There you go, right there. There you go. Get it, get it, get it. You that good? Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. It's right there. Right there. Uh, right. You got it. You no. You missed. You missed. Did it? Did it? Right there. No. 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 I'm a fucking legend. You, you're a legend. You're a legend. <laughs> Earl would have. Earl would have liked that. I don't know he wasn't. Earl would have liked that. Been with Earl. Earl would have liked that. I would have been in the park with no old. Earl would have liked that. No job. Earl would have liked. Reason a bunch of kids throwing kicks. You come with us. That's how he talked. You know what I mean? Why? Because he was a martial artist. He was like really like locked in with Bruce and them. But that's another story. So so I got to get into something very important. But outside of me, it was a lot of them that I love. This episode is brought to you by Zip Recruiter. Right now, I like to give a shout out to all the people whose jobs is to hire. Everybody whose job it is to hire, I'm going to give a shout out to y'all. From the small business owners growing their team to the HR directors hiring hundreds across the nation. You have one of the toughest jobs. But what if I told you that mm. there was something better for you. What if I told you it was something special and, and even easier and that's Zip Recruiter. Right now, you can use it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash game. You can utilize this to find the people that you need to hire. You know, instead of you doing all the hiring, Zip Recruiter will work for you. Once you post your job on Zip Recruiter, it sends it to 100 plus job sites. 
You, I'm talking about reach out to more and more people for you. Right then and there, ZipRecruiter powerful technology scan thousands of resumes for you to identify the people whose skills and expert experiences matches your job. I'm telling the skills and expertise matches your job right there. ZipRecruiter, I'm talking about is trusted by millions. So you don't have to worry. I'm talking about it's trusted by millions and millions of people. You don't got to worry. Hiring hero. Listen, all you hiring here, I'm talking about the hiring heroes out there. Everybody that's like a hero of hiring. Like he's a hero of being a loser. Um, let ZipRecruiter help you make jobs easier. Four out of five employees who post on ZipRecruiter get quality candidates within the first day. See for yourself. Go to this exclusive website and try ZipRecruiter for free. ZipRecruiter.com slash game is in. Again, ZipRecruiter.com slash game. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Molson Coors. We celebrate life's biggest moments with champagne, but everyday achievements deserve to be celebrated too. Whether it's closing out your to-do list, getting somewhere on time, or just waking up. Because see, just waking up is the true win. You know what I mean? There's always a reason to celebrate. So the next time you accomplish something within your every day, celebrate it with Miller High Life. The champagne of beers because what's living, the high life is all about. Miller High Life is the champagne of beers, a quality beer that's smooth and great tasting. In an iconic champagne-like glass bottle with refreshing champagne-like tiny bubbles is a celebration that's within everyone's reach. Easy to find, sold Almost everywhere. And I mean, so that means it's sold everywhere. It's everywhere, like broken glass. It's everywhere. And it doesn't put a strain on your wallet. So it's very reasonable price. So you get great tasting beer for a very reasonable price. Welcome to the High Life. Go to MillerHighLife.com slash million to find Miller High Life near you. Celebrate responsibly. 2023 Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yes. Uh, Stories from the cell. We got to get into this, man. Oh, you going um, right in the stories from the cell, huh? I got to, man. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of stuff go down. A lot of people don't understand the other side of the game. I see a lot of dudes out here, and, and um, I realize a lot of people out here can't fight. They can't do nothing with their hands. Outside of they come right off the, you know, their mom raised them. Yeah. So they got these tendencies of, you know, just lashing out. They wind up getting the gun. They get the gun, and they utilize that. They run around the neighborhood, go crazy, they terrorize, they shoot people, all this, all this, all this macho man stuff. Oh, I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, I'm tough. Demonic shit. Huh? But yeah, yeah. But a lot of times, people never see the other side of the game. I have. Mm. I, I've seen the other side of the game. Okay, you shoot everybody in the neighborhood. You don't got no lawyer money. You go to jail. Uh, your mom gonna try to raise him. My baby ain't never hit nobody. Shut up, Keisha. Y- your son was a mass murderer. That's what it is. Shut up, Keisha. Your son was a fucking bitch. Chucky died. No, 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 no. Because they always say that. Oh, I can't believe it. No, listen, he, he locked up. Why don't all the police kick my mom? Ooh. Oh, all the police kicked your mom's door down, Keisha. Because do you wasn't worrying about your you wasn't worrying about your son. You went out here, you got done up, you was running back and forth down Miami. Mm-hmm. You left your you left your son with your with your grand with his mom, his grandma, mm-hmm. which is your mom. You didn't know who your son was. You now you all tell them they shouldn't have kicked my mom's door. They come, you all in the dream the neighborhood. My baby ain't never right. Your son is a mass murderer. Right. You didn't know. Now, let me flip side. Why she didn't know? Because she's an LP. What? What's a that? lounge princess. Okay. She was working out them lounges. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hookah. <laughs> I mean, and most of the time, the dad is even pre- the dad is even in penitentiary. He out here getting high. Oh, he out here reliving his second childhood in the way. It's not in his son life. Mm-hmm. So, it goes both ways. We're not just blaming the mother. Right. So, you, I'm talking to the young boy. Come here. Come real close. Come real close, youngest. Mm-hmm. I'm on the block one day. Oh, head, I don't want to say his name. He's still in prison. He's doing life. He was an OG on the block. Mind his business. Hands about this big. One of them old head. Talk. All he do is lift weights every day. He go to work. He worked in the mattress factory. The mattress factory in Dallas Penitentiary, that's where you make the most money. Mm-hmm. And that's the big CI. That's, that's like CI correctional job. That's like different. Mm-hmm. So you might make $200 a month, mm-hmm. right? He got a good job. So all he do is go to commissary every day, all the time, on time. Go to chow. Mm-hmm. Go work out. Go to work. In his cell. You Child, said hands how big? Like this big. He wasn't playing. He had a single and cell. And never was on dope? No, no. He was like. Hands just that big for no reason. And he was reason. tall. He was about like six, two, six, two and a half, something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, mind his business. Always, his clothes always press. He ain't got to go to church every Sunday. He don't mess with nobody. So one day this young boy come on the block, mm-hmm. right? He just came on the block, came upstate, doing some time, whatever. <laughs> 
nobody know what's going on. But I hear some whisperings with the OGs because I always kick it with the OGs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I ain't really, I ain't really deal with too many people my age yeah. or whatever. I only deal with the, old, the the OGs. And when I say OGs, I mean offering game. I'm not mm -hmm. saying just you just a, a older dude that just mm -hmm. did some loser stuff and went to prison. You somebody that's read this book, young. Mm -hmm. Go do you know what I mean this ten third. I mean, mm -hmm. That's going to encourage you. Go over to the school building, man. Make sure you get your GED, man. You got to get out mm -hmm. and do these programs so you get out of jail. Them type of OGs is offering game. Mm -hmm. So one of the old heads said, man, let's ready to go down, man. I said, what's going on, old head? Because one thing I liked about the OGs, you know when stuff was ready to go down so you could take, you could retreat, take cover, go in the cell, you know what I mean? Figure something out, you know what I mean? So I'm like, damn, you know. They're like, yeah. And they talking, I'm just sitting there. I ain't going to say I was meddling because I'm a part of the conversation because these are my OGs. They're like, yeah, man, you know. I mean, I'm born in the black. The word is, he killed his nephew. I'm like, whew. Okay. So now I know what's, now I know where to stay away from. Young boy come on the block. He all young. He don't know what's going on. He just all, just young. Mm -hmm. I mean, all right, asking the guard, can I get a conversation slip? You know, he probably got his mom mm -hmm. looking out, give him a couple of hours. You know, they, mm -hmm. my baby, never, they going to look out for the, mm -hmm. you know, spoil him for a little minute. Mm -hmm. I got an aunt, somebody that love mm -hmm. him or whatever. I mean, so. He worrying about commissary. He's just walking around like he don't even know what's, he don't know what's going on. So one day. But he was just a, a demon on, out there. Oh, he was, a, he, he killed, he killed his nephew. He was mm -hmm. nothing to do that. So one day, it was only like, he was only in the block like three days about. I'm doing my rounds. Cause I used to always walk laps on the block. I was on J block. Mm -hmm. I'm on J block in Dallas. Anybody that was there, they know I'm doing the rounds. So I'm walking the tear. Walking the tear. I used to have my music on, walking the tear. But this day I'm walking the tear and I was on it. I never forget this day. Cause my homeboy had my earphones and I'm too going out of the cell to go like, yo, then see if he in there or he not in the yard, get my earphones so I could, cause I had my Walkman. Mm -hmm. So I go down there, right? So I'm like, damn, he ain't in, he ain't in the yard. So I can't get my earphones. So I'm like, I'll wait till he come back. So I'm doing my laps now. Man, so I see the young boy, he came out the day room. I guess he was playing cards or something. He ready to walk, he walked down the tier. As he's walking down the tier, I see the one old head leaning on, like leaning near the door. So when the young boy go to walk down the tier, this was some, this was some straight, this was planned. The young boy go to walk down the tier as he go to walk. The old head act like he walking in front of me, like he to stop him. You just seen a hand come out that cell from the old head. He gripped him, the grip of life. It was one of these types. Well, I'm just showing man. you. I need you to feel. You, feel. you ain't the old head and I ain't young boy. All right, no, I just, I just want you. you. I just want you. To Old head. I want you to be. Let here. me see. No, 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 no. Was. Let me see. Nigga. No, I want you to be there. I want you to be no, present. No, so you I wasn't the journey. Fuck there. All right, but I'm, I'm just explaining. Listen, grab my motherfucking neck I'm, like that, I'm explaining to you how it went. So he grabbed freaky grabbed ass nigga. He you grabbed like me. freaky ass. He grabbed old him with nigga. the grip of life. You could see it because he didn't know what was coming. Out. Like, and I'm coming back this way as they go. They go to tear. We, we're gonna join. I'm coming back this way and sells over here. He's sitting there and his facial because he walking. He walking this way. He was. like, he gripped him, he snatched him in there, and all you could see as he was snatching him, you just see his other hand just grabbing his mouth. I'm talking about it was like just, just a matter of somebody gripping you like mm. I'm talking about the well, fear. He gave him an ass assassination. No, 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 no. <laughs> The fear, listen, the fear, the fear. He was an ass assassin. Listen, listen, the fear that was in his eyes, because now, now it was like, now it was like. your ass on him. No, no, no. Now, as I'm walking, I know what's going on because I know the old head cell, so I'm like, what's that? It's the moment. Yeah. Because when he grabbed him from the joint, like he grabbed him from here, and you just seen his other hand come around and grab his mouth. He couldn't even squeeze. And he was like, it was like the fear. You knew. I seen that in people's eyes before in the joint. Mm -hmm. Snatch him in there. He seen it in your eyes. <laughs> it's, it's about, I'm probably like about like 30 steps away. So I'm walking. I'm like, man, all I heard, man, you could just hear the, the banging on like, like the bed frame, like boom, boom. You hearing all type of stuff. The the cabinet could be the cabinet move. You just hearing it move. You hearing a little move. So I walk, and I got to play normal. I ain't gonna throw it off the beat. I got to because they know I walk the joint. So if the police, the police right there in the bubble, they know my joint. I'm walking, so I ain't gonna throw it off. I walk back. As I'm walking back, you looked in the cell. Keep I, it no, real. no, no. I ain't looking in the cell. No, no I was no. You don't do that. Don't do that. No. Mm -mm, mm, I wasn't. No. I ain't need no good time. <laughs> so listen. When 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 I came back, all oh, you heard, you heard, oh, oh, you heard moaning, right? Yeah. It was like moaning, but it was a moaning and crying. It was a mixture of like moaning, crying, wanting to scream. Oh yeah, that's getting. And, uh, and listen, yeah. listen, this one I heard. This one I heard. Shut the shut the fuck up, mother. That's all you heard. And he was. Oh. So listen, I might have did like about five, six more laps. 
He was still in there. Just to peek in that motherfucker. Listen, listen, no, no, no. You wasn't to go in there. No, no, I, no, I didn't. No, <laughs> no, no, listen, listen, listen. So I do five more in June. So old here was so strategic, he timed it about 15 minutes before the yard come in. So he worked in my boom, boom, boom. So now as I'm walking back up the block, I'm coming down to walk back up, you hear the yard coming in. Yard in. I hear him screaming. I could outside you hear the guards saying, Yard coming in. So as the block started to come in, as I'm walking up, Oh, his door open. You just had a sheet right there. Man, he had the young boy head. That boy head was the size of a watermelon. His face was, I'm talking about, man, he was like, he was red, man. Call him red face after that, man. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, he was just, he was hickeyed up so crazy. And I ain't going to front. I don't know what else happened. You know what else happened. I'm not going to. You I said can't. you heard moaning. Yeah, but it was probably from life. Like, I didn't know what else happened. So, Bro, Pete. The nigga getting beat the fuck. He ain't moaning. So, Pete, when he come in, I mean, when he come out, everybody coming in from the yard. So, they peeping. They be like, damn. But people minding their business. I'm peeping because I'm coming from this way and I'm seeing everybody look at him. Man, that, that young boy went to his cell. He must have grabbed someone out of his cell and went straight to the police desk. I'm talking about straight to the bubble. The bu They was like, oh, what's going on? They looked at that boy, lock it down. Lock it down. You see what I'm saying? To lock it down and all that stuff. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, this am. They calling lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. I go to my cell, right? This is one of the moments. Cause I had the moments office. I cried inside of myself and I said, I got to get out of here. <laughs> Why? The way they fuck with you. Man, I thought he, listen, from what I seen, the way he walked out of that joint and what he looked like, mm -hmm. I felt like I was assaulted from just being able to see that type of, I never seen somebody's face so cut up and hickeyed up in my life. All that boxing stuff you watch up there, man, this dude would have been, this old head probably would have, listen, this dude's face was so cut up and hickeyed up all at the same time. It's different when you when you cut and that thing open like this and it's sticking out right here and it's bust open, it's different. Man. And I'm like. And just think about that. You said he was in there for 15 minutes. It ain't take 15 minutes to do that. So imagine what his ass felt like. No, you just putting that on. I ain't gonna put that on OG. I'm putting it on OG. OG, OG was OG. freaky. Oh, listen. You said you said you said nigga was in there moaning, man. Ain't no nigga moaning getting his ass with. Man, it, it, I'm he just saying the sound. Was like ah, wah, ah. Oh, he had saying. his mouth. Shut up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Listen, Why would we have to I'm, gonna this, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. He went to their desk. They screamed, lock it down, lock it down, because you know they gotta be on point as it was the guards. Freaky Friday. No, it wasn't Friday though. <laughs> it was like a Wednesday. So, I mean, Freaky Wednesday. Warrior still. Wednesday. <laughs> I like that. That's nice. Where it went. So, listen. So, now, next thing you know, they lock us down. So, you know, when you, when, 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 if you, it depends on how you sell, you can look through the crack. I'm upstairs to the top tier. So, I'm like this. You know, you put your mirror. Man, it was a thousand white shirts. It's just like in the streets. When the white shirts come, the captains, the lieutenant, they came down there deep because they like, because he was a young boy, even though he's a, of age of 18, but he still was like, probably was like 19, 20. Mm -hmm. So they got to be worried about making sure his life and whatever's going on. They trying to figure out what's going, trying to do a investigation. Because mm -hmm. old here was a pro. He wrapped him up to make sure it wasn't no no blood trail mm -hmm. to find. Because they be on all that type. So mm -hmm. they looking around trying to see what happened. You know what I mean? I never seen that young boy again in my life. They they got him up out of there. They PC'd him, mm -hmm. and you never seen him again. But um, it was a couple nights I cried about that shit. And and the reason I did was because. I never seen nobody open up. How would nigga, nigga his ass whoop and you cried? You didn't even know the young No, nah, I'm talking about internally because I was scared to death. Like, because you got to understand, you in the joint, I'm like, damn, if this dude gripped me, what I'm going to do? I'm just being realistic. Yeah, ass up. No, I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> yes, you was. You just said what I'm going to do. You just said you couldn't no, defend no, yourself. No, no, no. That's what you just no, said. No, no, no. Nigga, you just said, if he grabbed me, what I'm going to do? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Shit. I'm thinking about, you hold on, I know what like I'm going to do. white woman in a no, scary no, no, no. movie. Ah! No, 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 no. All that old dumb no, no. shit. As soon as I see that it's getting close to that, I already know what I'm doing. I'm tapping out. You giving the ass up? No. See yo! See yo! <laughs> see yo! See yo! See yo! No, uh, we ain't gonna do that. That's life or death, baby. Oh, he ain't gonna grab your mouth like like. No, he, he not. He ain't grab my mouth. Shut the fuck up. I bite his hand. <laughs> no, he. He ain't getting me, man. I ain't going out like Willie Lump Lump. Mm -mm. I ain't going out like that young boy. He ain't taking what's mine. That don't. This don't belong to you. This not yours. Oh, yeah. Freaky boy would have took your innocence, man. No, but see, you see, I don't think. Oh, it was a freaky boy. He minded. I never seen him doing that. He just worked and work and chill. 
But I don't know what cause, what he got, that was different. You killed his nephew. So all I'm saying is to say this. I ain't saying what I'm saying you think I'm saying, but if you think I'm saying them, that's what I'm saying. Is it's the other side of the game, young boy, with the gun. But what happened when you run into the cousin that you don't even know this is his cousin, that not even connected to the family no more because they've been doing so much time, but he know you killed his little cousin, you know, that he ain't seen since he was three, since he's been in the penitentiary, and he put that knife up in you. Where, you, where, where your day ones at? Everybody just riding. See, when you put that mask on and you decide to go out here, whatever come your way, come your way when you hit the joint. Mm -hmm. Ain't no guns in the joint. We keep forgetting that. And then you hear about all these dudes taking PC, dudes getting stabbed. And all, ain't no guns in the joint. All that tough shit. You terrorize the neighborhood. You do all this stuff. And then my thing is like this. Don't terrorize the neighborhood and then go, you know, want to go and, yo, could you post this on the internet? Yeah, man, I ain't doing I get I'm getting treated wrong or this. Nah, bro. What, what you crying for? You was a rowdy. You was a, right. Why you worrying about how the police treat you wrong? Right. Why you worrying about you terrorize the neighborhood? You shot guns on the street with the kids on. Now you, you just do your bit, baby. Do that bit. Huh? Do the bit. Do that bit. Right. And if you ain't got you ain't built for the bit, fall back. Right. Stop doing stop doing all this riding and gliding and all you. I'm riding, I'm gliding, I'm this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. I'm smoke. You're smoking the pack. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. gonna smoke you in there. Mm -hmm. His cousin, his cousin gonna smoke you. Mm hmm Slap you all in the prison yard. Mm -hmm. Slap you, kick you all in your, kick you all in your butt in the prison yard. You uh, stop all on you and all that. Don't let that weight kiss you, motherfucker. That weight hit you all now. That's a different Ooh, joint. Lord, that's a different joint. Don't let that weight kiss you, motherfucker. Melon. That joint kiss you, melon, man. Shit. But no, but no. The Blood reality. jump about your shit like toast out the toaster. The reality is, is when you pick that gun up today, I just want you. You ain't got to. They'll talk about it later. Or somebody family member be telling me about it, or somebody somebody be telling about it, somebody cousin, or mm -hmm. somebody because when you pick the gun up today, go ahead and shoot, shoot whatever you do what you got to do, man. I ain't telling you, do you? You you a rider. You 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 convince yourself that you want to be a killer, and whatever you went through is that much that you got to kill somebody out here. Something wait for you. Somebody waiting for you. Trust me. Is somebody is a bunch of penitentiary. You're going to land in one with they homies, mm -hmm. and it's going to be on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just prepare yourself for that, man. Prepare yourself to be the same nigga in jail that you was on the streets. Yeah, you got No, you ain't going to be that because you ain't got the gun. Mm, yeah, but you can still be some vicious niggas and that nah. don't mean you ain't going to still have the same heart. You might have the same heart, but it's different when, when you don't know what's coming. Yeah, but what I'm saying is most niggas ain't the same niggas in jail that they is on the streets. Oh, no. No, but 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 it's different 90 when... 90% of the niggas that, that's who they is on the streets, they not that nigga in jail. They go right to jail and... For, very rarely do you see a nigga who we you say no nah, that nigga wild on that nigga was wild as shit in jail. No, no. Then it's a flip flop too. Then it's a flip side because I didn't been in jail with some dudes that was monsters and gorillas. I'm talking about they was monsters and they come home and get smoked. Yeah. They put their hands and feet on boys and they be big. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what? What you say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two hundred. Damn. You know Big Mike came home. Yeah, they killed him last week. What? Yeah. What happened? He, remember he smacked the ball. Yeah. In, in, in 95, mm -hmm. we was in the yard. Oh, the light skin ball, the quiet. Yeah. But a lot of old come home. A lot of old when they come home from jail, they get smoked within the first six months because they still on that old shit. They still on that shit that they was on 13 years ago and they realize that the young boys out there now, they, they don't know what the work you put in. They don't give a fuck about the work you put in. They don't give a fuck about who you used to be. They like, I'm the new you. The fuck is you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just did 14 years in jail, my when you went to jail, I was six. I'm 20 now. We don't give a fuck about that shit, old head. And then old head, fuck that. These young and then the blah. It's so hard to say goodbye. So a lot of, you know, I know, we know a lot of motherfuckers who did a bunch of time come right home and because they still be on that old shit. Whereas though they can't grow the fuck up. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Straight Talk. A new Straight Talk wireless Offering is now available where you can get Walmart Plus membership included on select straight talk wireless plans for free. Only straight talk wireless gives you unlimited data, talk and text, plus Walmart Plus membership included select plans for free. Some of the perks Walmart Plus select straight talk wireless plans are free delivery from Walmart stores, free shipping, no order minimum. Paramount Plus memberships and member prices on fuel. That's gas saving. So straight talk wireless is available at Walmart, 
and walmart.com. So when you out and about at Walmart, make sure you straight talk. Going to get you on point. Going to get the whole house straight talking. Everybody busting it up. Unlimited data, unlimited text, plus a Walmart plus membership. And I'm saying this one more time. You get free delivery, no order minimum. You get members price on fuel. Like, come on, what are we talking about, man? Straight talk. So make sure y'all go to Straight Talk Wireless is available at Walmart and Walmart.com. Let's go. I'm an idiot that always say if you're doing the same shit you was doing 10 years ago, you're an idiot, man. Yeah, but sometimes it'd be like. If you're in the streets, you're doing the same shit you was doing. These dudes be lost and they still be living in yesterday. They be living, trying to. Hey, Jay Large, man. It's me and Gilly, man. I got you on the show, man. I got to ask you a question, man. What was that, Gilly? Now, Jay Large, Jay Large, my old Sully, man. Jay Large is a penitentiary warrior. He's a legend. Man, Jay Large was a bitch up there, man. They told me. <laughs> hey, 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 Jay. Hey, let me ask you something. You, you, what year was you in the penitentiary? Greatest for What year did you first come in? 89, baby. You going 89. All right. And how old was you? 19. How tall was you at that time, Jay? Six foot something? Oh, man, I was just getting to six feet, man. I grew up in that joint. I was just right, like 5'11". So, what's the craziest thing an old head said to you in the joint? Oh, man, craziest thing old head. I don't know, man. There's a lot of old head said, uh, they used to come through, man. Them old heads booty warriors, man. Motherfucker said, uh, yeah, you young girls out there, they must be beautiful. I said, uh, yeah, I left one out there. She, she beautiful. He said, because you young as bad as a motherfucker. Ooh. I was like, I was like, yo, what the fuck is they into in this show? <laughs> I said, man, he just, he just trying to put the price on the motherfucker. Yo, did you ever feel as though that your innocence was going to be removed from you? Oh, look, they, they ain't even gonna lie to you. Coming through that day, with the days of the days of the motherfuckers. I was, I was on ice eight day. I was in there. You had to keep your motherfucker guard up, keep your mouth out of the situation. Hey, listen. Did you ever? Did you ever look at this old head cell by mistake? <laughs> Everybody did that shit, motherfucker. You better keep your head. Did, did you get you caught doing it? You pay. You pick up in there, old head cell. You lose something up in there, young buck. Nah, I ain't losing nothing up in that motherfucker. Yeah, you can be up in one of these bunks if you want. You don't be looking in this motherfucker. I'm like, God damn. They have all kind of shit. Now, now, you now, know what now, now tell me about the joy when you seen somebody come through to kill somebody's family and they caught him. Oh my goodness, man! Listen here, I come through. This is what I'm saying. I come through on them JBM days, man, and they was they was stripping young boys. You know, you know they had a little clothing exchange on the block, and they just ran to jail back then. You know what I mean? So they was looking for tattoos and them stupid ass joints, man. And when them came through, them JBMs and get down to lay down boys, and them motherfuckers that killed his family, daughters, sons, or the last motherfucker that was sending to somebody a money order. Them motherfuckers went straight off the tear, man. Straight off the motherfucking tear. I thought the boy, well, you know, I don't want to throw no names around. Don't throw no I names. The boy, you know what I mean? I, ain't, well, I thought the boy was going to die one time, but he ended up living. He bounced off the radiator, but he lived. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you say no boy. But I'm hey, hey, but, he lived this shit. But Jay. His man died down Holmesburg, but he, he lived. But Jay, this is what I want to know before you get out of here. Who was the nigga that ripped low jump off? Oh, man, you know, the boy that was inside the jumpsuit with him? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that was the, what was, what was the boy? That, was, what, that wasn't Hammer. That was, uh, who was the boy that was doing the boxing job with you, man? Yo, you lying on me, though, Jay. I ain't, <laughs> on, man. who, who you talking about, Jay? The boy that was shooting the jab and everything. Took, yeah, yeah, let me show you that young boy. Come on, come on, you real sharp. Come on the block with that shit. Everybody watch him. Yeah, come on up to my Jay, you lying, lying on me. I ain't going to do that. No, let him finish the story. Go ahead, that towel up, man. He wait till you got good and tired, man. Start sparking your ass up. Who is the doctor? Who is the doctor? Who is the doctor? He lying, Jay. Jay, you lying on me, Jay. That ain't never happened. Hey, hey, man. Hey, I love you, man. I said, man, we had to get up there and get everybody to get you up out of there, man. <laughs> he lied. He lied. He ain't, they ain't never had me to sell hostage. Yo, you can't do it, my Yo, they ain't never. Listen, I was a chef. Listen, hey, listen hold hey, up. Man. He, he had that. The court, man. He had that nigga to sell houses like Al Qaeda. Huh? <laughs> hey, hey, man, we, we had to come here, we had to get over here, all kind of come say, all kind of look, man. You're the young boy by there, man. Hey, we over here. He hey. mind in my business, man. He said, uh, you get settled out of court for a kiss on the neck and some <laughs> on the ass, man. Get him up on that. He lied on me. I walked down the tail with him, I said, at least he ain't fucking, man. 
<laughs> what? You lying, Jay? Jay lying to me? Jay, you lying, man? The number one rule in jail. What is it? Don't get fucked and don't give up no head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jay, you lying? Wait, hold on, Jay. Hold on. So the so the old the freaky old head settled out of court for for a kiss on the neck and what? And just squeeze on the ass, man. He's gonna grab the side of my man's ass like he said, sticky buns and shit. He lying, he lying, he lying, he lying, Jake. I, I, I didn't even, that wasn't me. That was, he lying on me, hey, man. Hey, hey, low, man. At least listen. All right, what about hey, the in the yard? He gripped, hold up, hold up. He, he gripped the side of low ass. He lying, he lying. Yeah, he, he, he kissed him on that tattoo he got on his neck. He lying on me, man. <laughs> Hey, listen, hey, you, hey, you out of pocket, right, cuz. Before you roll, before you roll, what about we's in the yard, man, and you had to activate them shoes, nigga? <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> that nigga, that nigga was coming with that piece. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you thought that nigga was coming yeah, with that yeah. piece coming from the That's different. That's different. <laughs> That's different. Yeah, boy, like, oh, boy was coming towards me. You told you about yeah. that. I thought oh, yeah. he was coming yeah, towards yeah. me. Yeah. He was coming somewhere. I got up out of there, man. Yeah, you know I mean, it's crazy. He was about his work. I said, "Man, you go ahead." Later on, you saw that name on the block. You was like, "Hey, listen, man, we might have got on the wrong foot, man." Listen. Hey, listen, whatever went down, man, you know we can squash that, you know, because that shit is different from other things. That shit ain't for us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, listen, listen. That was Wallow's favorite line when motherfuckers was about to be listen, with him. That shit ain't for us. Listen, we had the we had the what's name? So me and Jay in the joint. This one, we got the cell phones in there. We got this shit rocking. Right, mm-hmm. they wonder why Jay. Off next no, no. <laughs> they wonder why Jay. Jay never coming out the cell. This is quiet to the church mouse. Mm-hmm. So we got listen, listen, listen. We got the we got the cell phones. We we rocking. I'm talking about we got we supplying everybody. We got the cell phones. We got the food. We got all the we got all we got the fresh shrimps coming in. I'm making the we making the burritos. We making the dirty rice. We making all it. We just I'm talking about kings. These motherfuckers come out of nowhere. We laid up. Soon as soon as me and Jay, I get my single cell now. So now I move out of the cell with Jay. So one day we we just chilling. These motherfuckers came out of nowhere and blitzes like the task force in the 80s. Right? They come in there, hey, I'm telling you, they blitzed the whole joint. Jay, what I do? What the fuck did I do, Jay? Um, nigga, you that one day, nigga, you, you, you stood tall. You wild the fuck out. I was like, I said, man. You so, was like, yo, fuck y'all, you got me what you got me for. And all this shit is mine and all that. Because everybody ready to go home. Anything? I had about like 18 yeah, we, months left. He was all about the rule. Yeah, he was like, man, wasn't no rap. He said, yo, all said, this shit is mine. I, I, said, no. I said, everything this mine. It's like 10, 15 uh, phones. Because I'm yeah, like, the way they, 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 they snapped because it was like, I had to draw the attention to me, so I'm cussing the security captain out. Man, man, bring it, man. Look out here, man. Y'all running late, man. Ah, that's mine. Real shit, Dang. you was wildin'. You was like, fuck that. We're ready to wear I thought you had yeah. lost his mother. Yeah, yeah, I was man. tripped. I he he thought it was, they thought it was, because I was just trying to, I was trying to deflect it off of them. Like, like they ain't weren't, like they, they, everybody quiet. I'm like, they like, yeah, that's him. just watched me hand my motherfucking packet. Yeah, parole. everybody ready to go get parole. Listen, listen, hey, Gil. Yeah. I'm Muslim all day long. Them come through like the woo, rip the ceiling out. They pulled all that contraband and looked at the phones in their hand. And I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, staff alone. Hey, brother, I'm just telling you, real, brother. He ready to go home. Jay ready to go home. Brother. Listen, Jay ready. Grab that shit out there, seal it, I, was, uh, I just finished Listen. doing eight years. Listen, I Jay Ray. The first thing came across my mind, I went straight back to Kansas Street Baptist on him. I was listen, like, <laughs> listen, Jay ready to go home. So I say, listen, and most of everybody ready to go home. So I, I'm snapping, man, nah, they all mine. What happened is, they, so so when it all come down, I'm the only one to get a street charge. They charge me on a street tip. Gave me, went to take me down to the district, rebooked me. Yeah, you're getting a street charge, big guy. Yeah, you think, but I'm like, it don't even matter. They going to still make it out. I still got time to do. So, yeah, yeah. so they throw me, shit, they throw me in a dungeon. They throw me in a hole for six months, death row, back in the death row. I'm in there for six months. They kick me out of the jail, send me up to the, the hillbilly jail. I go up to the jail. <laughs> this is the third. Uh, they, they they thought I killed the president the way they was acting in this joint. They was yeah, tripping. I was in there for eight months. Remember they killed yeah. me? Because you you tried to take the, you know, you was like, well, I'm going to take the joint. Everybody go ahead and skate out. I was like, you know, so I rolled with it. They, I got in there and Mary was like, you lying, motherfucker. 90 days. I was like, God damn. Yeah, man, Mary, because Mary and was like, because uh, uh, what was the boy named, the little short boy that everybody was scared of, the security captain? What was his name? Radle. 
No, it wasn't Rado. It was the other boy, a little, little, you, I forget his name, but they were scared. He was in there when I come in. I said, man, run. He said, yeah, you know you ready. No, I forget his name. You know the boy. We gonna think of his name with the little missing finger. He say, yeah, you know you ready to get on Kanye. there. I said, man, send me where you gonna send me, man. Run it. That's be me. And I just walked out of the drone real quick. And I said, I ain't going to no hands no more. I'm looking at you like, we don't need to dig ourselves in no deep. I'm like, shut up, Jay. They ain't worrying about me, nigga. Go lay down, man. They put us on the fuck. They didn't give us. Remember, they taking us to the hole. They didn't take us to the the hole. They took us to the fucking road. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Remember, the hole was crowded. They was like taking the CCU. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, death row. They like capital case unit. I said, yeah. oh, my, we my, up there my, with the death row boys, so we going in the dog cases. But they, but they whatever the case, with... whatever the case be, man. Listen, man. You when you came out of jail, man. From the from the eighty nine, you ain't come out with all of yourself, man. They took something from you, man. I know they did, oh, Jay. Man. No, I never did, man. The never yellow that. talk, man. They took something. No, from man. You know what I mean? Just because you got squeezed up a little bit and anything, you know, I was I was always a quick little running motherfucker, man. You know what I mean? You know what but I mean? listen, I, I stayed I stayed out the way. But if you had to say something to the young boys today, right? About all the time you did, the family members you lost doing jail. You know, we laugh and joke about it because we had to, you know, we had to laugh to get through it. But yeah. if you had to say something to these young boys out here. Is running around, rock em, sock em, you know what I mean, Thundercat shit. What would you tell them to just tell them, like, little man, you know, why it ain't worth it? If you knew, what, well, really, if you knew what we knew and went through what we went through, you'd listen to your uncle, you'd listen to your mom, you'd listen to all them people that was trying to tell you the right thing because once the man get a hold of you, it's funny how you're going to do every damn thing that your people told you to do once the white man told you to do it. Yup. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. stay away from that. But if you want to learn on your own, I mean, like you said, like while Lowe said, I could give you all the advice in the world, but if you want to play this game, they, they ain't never got a lack of room for you in the place. They're mm. going to make money off you. Because mm. I'm going to tell you something, and, and Jay, and Jay can vouch for this. All this stuff, and I'm going to be real, and I got to be real, and you can laugh and joke, whatever. When they tell you to work, you're going to work. When they tell you to spread spread them cheeks, you going to spread your ass and get strip yeah, searched. Yeah. You got to get butt naked. You get naked and have a motherfucker look all up your ass and anything just to sit there and talk to your mom. My mom used to wonder why I was so uptight for the first 20 minutes. I just got naked for another fucking man. He got to see me do shit the chicks don't even see me do. And, and, then, and, then, oh, and then, well, you came it. right home to them rimmers. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> chicks but love listen, to see but listen, chicks Jay, love you with your legs Jay. back. You remember the one boy that worked in the uh, the greatest four dressing room? He'd be talking to you, running his hands raw through your drawers, making sure you ain't got yeah, in the line. He'd be like, "Yeah, go ahead." And then and then he'd take nuts and butts, man. Yeah, he'd, be nuts, he'd be like, "Come on, let's do it." He talked to you like that the whole time. He told me, "You see the game last night? Oh man, them Eagles are something up. Yeah, clap them. Like that's how he talked to you." He put no gloves on. He touch everybody's drawers. He don't even put no gloves on. A weirdo, man. He, yeah. he, he come through there. He loved it there. Nuts uh-huh. and butts. Get naked. Turn around. Yeah. Nuts and butts. Let me butts. see this. Let me, I said, yo, there ain't nobody ever wanted to look at my ass twice, man. You got to call the sergeant in here, man. I'm not bending over. <laughs> Listen, this, man. You bent over again because you made it to that visit. Damn, let me see that again. You bent over. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What you mean, nigga said, damn, let me see it's that again. It's a guard, man. I'm telling you, it's a guard. This is a nigga on the street. They go home to his family every day. So you wait, nigga said you was thick? <laughs> He said left foot, right foot, bend over, crack him. You know, that's usually it. He told me, wait a minute, oh, do that again? I'm like, oh, get the sergeant here from the yeah, desk, man. <laughs> Jay, like, Jay, you did it again. You ain't cancer, you bitch. Jay, you did it again, Jay. Why, why, why no, the security no, no, there told me you had a BBL, man, a prison right, BBL? Uh, 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 what's the boy you used to be Lacey. He had to call Lacey in there, man. I said, yeah. Lacey, man. I ain't hey, never Jay. Had yeah, old head Lacey. Hey, Jay. Jay. Why they said the guards had a conversation told me you had a prison BBL, man. <laughs> No, while I was with the motherfucking uh, lifeguard in the shower. Yo, come on, yo, Jay, stop yeah, putting it out you. there. I'm glad doing you. that, Jay. I'm I worked in the shower, Listen, Jay. She was a I fucking the lifeguard no. in the shower. No, I cleaned I, the shower. I, I, I Listen, cleaned the shower. No, dude, this my camera. No, 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 no I cleaned the shower, Jay. Don't do that. that I just I cleaned the shower. I cleaned the shower, Jay. This nigga was a lifeguard do in the prison a, shower. You just heard a f- the shower's got to get clean, cuz. Hey, 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 that motherfucker be in the shower, man. Did, did, didn't he want to say that chicken he brought back from the kitchen next to his sack? You say that sack chicken. <laughs> I had the guards bringing the chicken back for me in, in the creek. I said, yo, he's a low like Well, you throw chicken under your sack and then sell it. He lying, oh, man. My. I had to, no, listen, he lying. I had the chicken, listen. I had the crate. That nigga was selling dick and nuggets. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 
Yo, open up your hatch. Yo, he like, he like, AJ, 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 AJ. Oh man, how that was selling? How that stuff? Chicken buys peace and then get it to the block and sell it. That selling dick and nuggets. I thought about it when I was at the from my man, then I was like, the sandwich hot as shit. Wait, wait, Jay. So you had a six piece dick and nuggets? <laughs> nigga, nigga gave me a hot ass sandwich in the month. Oh, uh, man. Like Yo, this Yo, ain't right, man. Yo, Jay is. This ain't right. Jay. Yo, hey, Jay, Jay, man, you out of pocket, you right? Had a six Jay, piece I know. Jay, nuggets. you know I had my stuff on the train, Man, Greg. that chicken Don't all this do that. nuts and I you know, ate it. That's when you got your contracts, but from the beginning, nigga, when you was, when you was selling oh shit Oh, my God, man. This nigga was in jail selling dick and nuggets, man. You, you, was bringing, you was bringing that sack chicken back, man. You ate it, didn't you? Didn't you? <laughs> you ate that shit. You put some barbecue. Hey, man, I ate that bar- Hey, look at it, man. We was put a lot of shit we ate. We ain't going to eat that motherfucker. <laughs> so, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, Jay, not a <laughs> Dude, hey, Jay, 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 give me a lot of shit we ain't want to eat. We ain't never. Oh, Hold on, let me I, I think. Know I ain't had no I know wait, that ain't had wait, wait, Jay, see, explain see. this, man. You, explain this. You just told Wallow, we ate a lot of shit we ain't want to eat. That motherfucker, explain. No, not we. You motherfucker, wait. The shit that they had in the vending machines or the shit that we ate out the kitchen, that's, that's, that fucking food was subhuman, man. But what we I'm saying is, Jay, you. you mean to tell me that Wallow was chef up a chicken sandwich for you? Mm-hmm. Toss it in his motherfucking no, brief like, no, by he, his hold on man by his nuts. Hey man, get, wait hold on. Get to the cell with chicken nuggets out on you and you fuck them up. <laughs> hey man, you call it what you want. You buy smuggle it in next to my nuts or you smuggle it in next to his nuts. Wait, no, oh that was like that. It wasn't like that. Oh he lying. God. Jay lying. Oh my god. Because Jay didn't work down the kitchen. Wait, I worked down the kitchen. Wait, he didn't work down the kitchen. Wait, hold on. So let me ask you a question. So Wallow had digging nuggets too? Hey man, I'm sure he snuck something back next to everybody somebody brought something back in the kitchen. That's Not like for kitchen me. I didn't eat I was pescatarian. I didn't eat chicken, so it wasn't me. So what you had, fish? Yeah. Hey man. From commissary. Or down in the I fried my fish down in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Yo, he don't even hey, AJ. He don't know about the t- AJ. He don't know about the tall refrigerator. Yeah, I do. I did that at the county. You talking about I had my mom. Yeah, I'm talking about the county. The you disconnected to you ratting on jeans. Stop telling about, people the county. You snitched on jeans. You talking about, yeah, man, man, y'all niggas is up to eating shit y'all ain't want to eat, man. I don't want to eat it. He said he did. Man, like I see him get it. He didn't make it all the way up top. He tapped out, man. Yeah, he snitched on First of all, first of all, first of all, Jay, 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 you just admitted, you just admitted on the biggest podcast in the world that you ate chicken with Get slapped his dick and balls uh, on top of that joint. Oh, and you no, was like, I had to do what I had to do. <laughs> what? He said we had a hook. But hold on, let me clear. It's on the other side of the bag, nigga. What the fuck you want us to do in prison? The fuck you mean? Oh, you know what I mean? But I Good will thing. say this. So Jay. I can say this. So a nigga can wipe his ass with a donut, and you like, oh, hey, listen, it was a chocolate <laughs> donut, man. See, you ain't never been, you ain't never been yeah. in this situation. You know See, so he's right. saying he eat the donut. Oh, you my you God, Jay. Hey, Jay, listen, you you said. Jay, Jay, freaky Jay, warrior. Jay, let's clarify something, Jay. You said you. we ate a lot. Don't say we. You ate a lot of things. You wasn't supposed to eat it there. You ate that shit. You, we don't know where P. Miller was getting that dirty rice from. We ain't fucking that oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. That dirty rice. Oh, no. He was making that in the cell. Hold up. Hey, that rice that was good. He was making that in the cell. Man, I, I went in to get my bowl with that nigga. That nigga was pulled to have that shit inside a boot. What? <laughs> <laughs> Was giving us hot rice out of a boot. <laughs> what? Was like, you was like, that P. Miller shit is the shit. You was eating shit out there. Hey, he had the hookup. Uh, that remind was, me of P. Miller. That was cooking that, that was shit out of Timberland boot. Make him say, them, that rice made him say, uh, That thing was some real rice. On, on, some, on some real shit, man. Like I said, we was in there. No glory stories and none of that shit. Them young boys, they don't know what the fuck it is. Every time I had to put my hands up in one of them cells. I was scared to f*** to death. Win, lose, draw. How many times Every you got time some ass in there? Into a situation in them joints, man. It ain't no. I done seen motherfuckers get not come home for the smallest motherfucking reason. And uh, if you, you get knocked out, and if you get knocked out, them old heads just peeling the nigga off the floor. They lost. All right, but Jay, how many times you got some ass in there, man? Huh? Huh, you Jay? Mean? We heard you give it a game out and all that, but get a, get a youngest the raw the raw innocent truth. How many times you got some ass in there, man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't play 
Hey, listen. Hey, Jay, this motherfucker here. Jay, Jason. Jay said he was scared. Oh, don't throw my name. I ain't do nothing. Well, Wallow got some ass in there. Hey, look, man. Don't do that. How many times Wallow got some ass in there? Hey. I sold sandwiches to everybody, man. I told you. You sold them to the boy J Lo. Whoa, J Lo. You sold them to HBO too, the boy Heine Blowout. <laughs> you like it? Boy. <laughs> you sold you sold sandwiches to HBO. I like what you doing up there with the kid. You selling sandwiches to Heine Blowout. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? You like it? He's talking about no. I'm gonna pay you later. I'm like no. <laughs> you like it? Jay lying. Wait, wait. So Wallow was selling sandwiches. Did named J Lo? Jay, look, man, it was hustling, man. You, you had to sell. Look, but hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Jay. You did it out Jay, public, though. You Jay, didn't do it in the cut, Jay. Nigga. Let the record reflect. Sandwich. Let the record reflect. Hold up. I ain't gonna put his name out there, but the old head poppy boy that had all the cigarettes. He had, you know, he had the package. He used to be buying them sandwiches. He paid for these sandwiches. Hey man, but you know they money spent. You act like chumps. No, I'm not. I'm not saying nothing. To get, no, I'm just. I'm just saying you. But you try to make it like it was some other stuff. Like I was going on a date no, for the sandwich. No, 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 you no, was going on a date. I had to put that out there. He was going on a date bro, about a sandwich, man. man. No, no, no. That's no, like going. on the street, man. If you try to sell something, man, look, money is green. Money man, is green. Going, but he ain't going to cut and sell it to him. You tell the boy, come on out here and the radiator, the radiator, where everybody can see. No, but 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 one time, one time, I will say this, Jay. I did see you. Uh, I did. see Listen, listen. Word is in the joint. Ho, 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 ho. Word in the joint that you was uh, passing off love letters to J Lo. <laughs> Get the f out of here. That was your motherfucking buddy. I was what the motherfucking name was. I said, J Lo. Oh, my fucking God. I said, they got a man in this bitch named J Lo. Yeah, it was crazy. You said it like it wasn't nothing. I said, yo, where did you, you know me? Oh, yeah, up there next to J Lo's cell. I like that. <laughs> hey, hey, I hey. Said, hey, how, how long was Wallow and Ricky Minaj Sellies? What? Ooh, 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 Ricky Minaj. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Thank you. Thank you. He lied on me. He lied on me, man. Man, you know goddamn well what I'm talking about. He lying on me, man. Speaking of Ricky, we can put a name out there. That motherfucker Ricky Jackson <laughs> fighting this motherfucker from North Philly in motherfucking jail, and he was gay. You better not say two words. He'd knock you out. Ricky Jackson will knock you clean. How you doing, Mr. Ricky? Doing today. Wait, y'all used to call him. Mr. Ricky, yeah, he's got to keep. Hey, yeah, Ricky, man, how you doing? Yeah, you, you, let me tell you, something. all respect in the world. That motherfucker, he, he was on the boxing team. He had a set of hands on him. That motherfucker, a set of hands on him. He said hands. Yeah, he said hands. Oh, set of hands on him. I said hands. Man. I ain't seen nothing. Yo, else. yo, what, uh, what would have happened to Gill in the joint? Man? Nothing. Oh man, what? The way, the, what, what you weigh and all that? Oh yeah. The, the, punch, the punches you throw, man. Them niggas eat that shit up like rain. Man, ain't nobody trying to hey, hit that because you got you, cause they man, took your ass though. They, they try a little. I'm not saying you would have. You you probably would have went down smoking. You know what I mean? <laughs> With that, <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> One thing I found out when I got up to you, I was tall, I was skinny. I got I got punched by a motherfucker. It felt like the end of the motherfucking world. I was in the kitchen eating every motherfucking thing on the menu after that. Oh, uh, who? Why I he punch you? Weight pile to the kitchen. From he wanted to the weight pile. Why, why he punch you? Uh, uh, hockey puck eating motherfucker. Word on the streets, he punch you because he seen you talking to another. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they done got no ass. Fuck they you over there talking to him for? You'd have been, you'd have been, you'd have been the first motherfucker at LPC. They done got your ass. You crazy as shit. You was over there cheating yeah. on a. Yeah. You yeah. sitting yeah. upside yeah. your yeah. shit. In how many times, city, AJ? How, how many, many times you had domestic violence in the joint? Now, how many times <laughs> they dropped something on your bed, Jay? Oh man, the one time, man, when we first come in, that's when you learn your lesson, man. Motherfucker, you come through. Yo, my old head sent this, and my homie was like, nah, nah, you know, the boy old head gave it to John. Man, I don't eat nutty bars to this fucking day. Did you eat that nutty bar though? You that ate it. Then. We was in there eating them up. Old head came through here, was like, come show up at the cell. This man was like, uh, you get that? He was like, yeah, yeah, I got that. My old head, he's sharing that shit with me. Boy showed up at the door. What did he, he say? Like, oh. Well, he like, what? Where my motherfucking shit at? He like, oh, I thought my old head gave me these. I, I give it back to you Tuesday. That nigga slammed the door. He like, you ain't eat my shit Tuesday. I was like, oh, shit. What the fuck this about? I'm only 19, so he can't catch us both. I'm getting close to the door. I slide out. Then he try to grab me, rip my uniform. I haul ass down the block. Got the old head. Like, yo, they ain't trying to rip your face. <laughs> see, see, he, like, see, he, like, he got his, his uniform ripped. Was it me? Yeah, Man, it that nigga, we came back and boy was just about to <laughs> sacrifice the boy. He said, man, y'all in here raping motherfuckers.
I said, to this day, I walk down the supermarket the wife of uh, the market with my wife. I see it's not in a, a box of nutty bars. I like don't show me no motherfucking nutty bars. Yo, did you ever listen, did you ever tell your wife what happened to you in that cell that day? <laughs> you gonna make it up shit. Ain't nothing happened to me because I stayed away from shit. I Man, you just lie. said it. You ripped your uniform. You, 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 you ever told your wife? You ever told your wife why you talking all that gangster street shit and to rip your uniform in jail? Hey, listen. Did you tell her that? I don't play. I don't play with knives and none of that shit. Nah, we asked you. Did you ever tell your you wife? Tell her you she, got your, your, your nigga jumper ripped your off. uniform. Get my jumper ripped off. I never did none of that shit. <laughs> No, I see. No, but but I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, he snatched. You, see, he's you just said he snatched jumping. your uniform. You said, he, you said he ripped your uniform when he grabbed you. Did you tell? No. Oh, he talking about that. Hey, man, listen, I had to get away. That no, did you ever tell you? <laughs> did you ever tell your wife that happened? Oh yeah, I told her about that shit when shit happened. That's what I told you. She know that I don't eat no mother. Nutty bars, nutty bars almost got a slave. <laughs> like, Damn. You know what I mean? I don't eat that shit to this day. Every time oh I my God, man. Oh, the joint. Yeah. All right, man. We appreciate you calling in, man. We appreciate you hey, tapping man. in, Jay. Love both of y'all, man. Much love, Jay. Uh, All right, brother. All right. Yeah, Wallo just did a whole <laughs> motherfucking segment of stories from the cell. And shit. Let me get y'all me and Oz worth of game, game real quick. The cell. Before we get out of here, so, you know. I get a call from one of my youngins. You know, he going through something with his woman. And you know, he break down that, you know, he packed up, he moved, he went to a different city. You know, he did all these things to satisfy her. And he, he called me like, it's just not sitting right with me, unk, that I'm putting my all my motherfucking dreams and my ambitions and my goals on hold to move down with here with her and you know, be with my child and and support her dreams. You know, and he was asking me what should he do, and I, you know, I told him I would never put my motherfucking dreams and goals on hold for no fucking body. You know what I'm saying? Because all you're gonna do is you're gonna look up and you're gonna be 40 years old, 35 years old, mad as shit that you ain't chased your opportunities, and you sat back and watched another mother and supported another mother chasing their opportunities. When you got real goals and you got real dreams and real ambition to be something out here. So, uh, you know, I'm not telling you to leave. I'm telling you that I would have left. You know what I mean? Yeah, it probably would have been some of the hardest shit I would have had to do. But at the end of the day, you you setting yourself up. You somewhere babysitting, man. You somewhere being my Mrs. Doubtfire, man. She trying to trap you in the house, have you watch the kids while she go to work. She control everything, man. That ain't even no man type of shit. So go ahead out there, man, and chase your dreams, man. And you, if you got to support your, your kid from not being in the household and from a distance because, because you want to be something in life, then that's what you got to do. Because I truly believe that when you get with a woman, there's only two things a woman going to do for you. Either she going to elevate you or she going to deflate you like a mother tire. Either you, she going to be there to help you elevate in whatever you doing, whatever you doing. So if you a basketball player, she like, no, nah, baby, get up. You got to be to work. Come on. You got to get to practice. Come on. Why you ain't practice this week? You slipping, babe. Come on. You what? Oh, no, you can't eat that. You got to eat this. Okay. She going to make sure I don't give a f if she's setting a, a, a a cook up for you, a chef up for you, if she doing it herself, she going to make sure you elevate. She not going to be making sure, oh, you got a game tonight and we about to argue over some dumb shit because you ain't post me on Instagram on the way to the game so I fuck your whole mood up. You go out there, only had six points and all this shit. No. So for me, I just believe when you get with a woman, either she going to help you elevate or she going to help you deflate. And I told my youngin in this case, the fact that she asking you not to even be nothing with your life. Think about that. My and asking you to be a couch warrior. No, sit at home, watch the kids. I got it. But my business is doing good. So I'm going to take care. What? Bitch, you asking me not to be a man? The fuck is you talking about? So at the end of the day, you know. I respected the youngin for reaching out. I respected him for wanting the game. And I respected him for leaving. Because he rolled the fuck out. Because at the end of the day, man, you can't sit back and rely on nobody else. Because a bitch will trap you up. A 
they'll trap you up. Hey, you're sitting in the house believing y'all gonna be here forever, and then seven, eight years go by, now motherfucker want somebody new and you behind the eight ball. You busted and disgusted, dead pop. Feeling like you can't live without a motherfucker now. Now you going through all types of deep depression and all types of shit, all because you set yourself the fuck up. So I'm glad my younger listened, and I'm glad he took that game, and I'm glad he got away. And I told him, if something is meant for you to truly come back, brother. So if, if she is truly meant for you, then she'll understand that uh, you think that your life is worth more than sitting on a motherfucking couch and babysitting. And if she understand that and she respect that and she truly love you, she'll come back to you. If she don't, then she wasn't meant for you. So shout out to my youngin' who took that game and rolled the fuck out. But uh, this is another episode of Me and Osworth for Game, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Share. Subscribe. Subscribe. Show us that love. We got Make- something new coming, too. We got something new coming. <clears throat> mm-hmm. December, we're going to have Gilly and Wallow's knockout party. Mm-hmm. It's coming. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we wanted to get in the fight game, but we get in the fight game in a different way, man. Right. You're going to have somebody out there, listen, you want to knock out, you want to call out, you want to rumble them. Listen, it's going down. It's going right. to be in Delaware. It's going to be big, man. And it's part of start stopping the violence. Mm-hmm. We paying y'all to rumble. Put the gloves on, man. Make some money, man. Yeah. We can settle these differences the right way. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all out here shoot motherfuckers for nothing. We can settle all these differences the right way, and you can get paid and shake hands at the end like men. Mm-hmm. And we giving out checks. So uh, make sure y'all get ready for Gilly and Wallow's uh, knockout, knockout party. Bottom, baby. Knockout party. You hear me? It's going down. It's going to be in Wilmington. Delaware. Yes. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy, man. Make sure y'all check out uh, Adventures every Wednesday at 730 Check out Adventures. Well. It's going down, man. Make sure you check out Gilly on Sports, man. Well, you never know. Sports. You never know what team is mine's that week, you know? Popping up. No, no, listen. Can I break my teams down before we leave? Yes. <laughs> my first team, <clears throat> my top two teams, they undefeated, is the Eagles, my team, San Francisco, my team, uh, Kansas City Chiefs, my team, Buffalo, my team, and Miami is my teams right now. Them all my teams. So y'all know, so anybody win the championship, I've I done it. It's crazy. I picked the five, top five teams in the league, but uh, that's yeah. what losers do. Mm-hmm. And it's just like that. Right!